Want to know how to best optimize your goals for best success? In this short video, you'll get a cheat sheet that'll show you how. Hi, I'm Stacy Storino from Women 101. Did you know that there's such a thing as a success spectrum? Well, now you do. It will help you solidify what success can look like for you. In previous videos, we've discussed fleshing out your why and making it something that's believable, achievable, and capable of manifestation. If you've missed out on the rest of the Woman 101 31 Day Life Reboot Challenge, be sure to go to the Woman 101 YouTube channel and select the playlist by that name. So wait, what's this about a success spectrum? Try to imagine an actual spectrum on which you can experience success in terms of your various why-related goals in various concentrations. For some of you, this may just be a novel exercise. For others, this will usher in a paradigm shift. With respect to a SMART goal, imagine it placed on a spectrum where three outcomes in terms of succeeding with that goal would occur. One, you have marginal success in terms of achieving the goal. Two, you have a normal level of success with it. Or three, you enjoy epic success achieving it. Imagine what each of these three outcomes are like in terms of all five senses, wherever possible, i.e. What does success at each level look like, sound like, smell like, the sands of the ocean where your mansion is, or even taste like, food at a success banquet, celebratory drinks. When you do this part of the exercise, you're not only making the success spectrum more real to you, you're fleshing out the experience of actually achieving your goals, which should give you more leverage to go out there and actually achieve them. Not a bad thing, right? The success spectrum is also useful because some people only imagine success of epic proportions or nothing at all. The problem with an all or nothing approach is that you may throw up your hands in disgust if you barely make it across the goal-related finish line when you should be celebrating that you accomplished the goal at all. A normal level of success is actually more realistic than some cray-cray state of ecstasy that you might be able to experience if you somehow were to score a success-related mother load when achieving a goal. Epic is nice and all, and for sure, shoot for the moon because even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. But getting a strike by bowling right up the middle isn't bad either. Don't be such a perfectionist about success that you become a celebratory party pooper. Comparison is the thief of joy. Stop comparing yourself to others and or comparing your expectations to perfection because that's a standard no one can ever truly reach. Finally, your subconscious mind will be less likely to tempt you into self-sabotaging behaviors if you place your goals on a spectrum where there's a bar or two it thinks you can actually reach. Believable goals are achievable ones. Now, I'd really love to know if you found any of this advice helpful. So go ahead and comment down below. Smash that like button. Share this video. Subscribe to this channel for more free life coaching. We're coming out with cool new videos that'll change the way you live your life. You're a chick with a heart of gold. It's Woman 101's mission to help keep that heart happy, healthy, smart, and strong. Woman 101, be wise with your